Hi guys, this is Megan with the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I have a kids clothing haul for you guys. A few times a year there's a big huge consignment sale and they host it down at the fairgrounds and they have one of the giant buildings just full of used clothes, mainly kids clothes, but there are women's clothes and a lot of like kids accessories like baby chairs and carriers and all kinds of stuff. I went there this last weekend and I stocked up on a lot of clothes that our kids will need for the next couple years. So I think it's safe to say I'm pretty stocked up. So for boys clothes, I got sizes like 18 to 24 months and 2T and a little bit of 3T. And for girls clothes, I got some 2T because that's the size she's just moving into now. And I got some 3T and a little bit of 4T. So I'm not going to separate the boys and girls clothes by sizes. It's just gonna be the boys clothes separate from the girls clothes. So let's get right into this haul. To start with all the shoes that I got. First I got some little snow boots for this next winter for Sophia. These were only eight dollars and they look like really nice ones so this was a really good find. Here's some more sandals and these are just red so they can be worn by either of the kids. There are a couple sizes up from what Sophia is wearing right now but they're a really good brand and they weren't very much so I thought I would just snag them right now. I also got some little moccasins and these will fit Dimmy when he starts walking and I love little kids in moccasins and because the soles are softer, it's easier for them to learn how to walk and not be just in a super thick, hard sole that's not as good for their feet or learning to walk. So Sophia has some moccasins that she's just almost grown out of that I've absolutely loved. So I thought that for Demi's first shoes, some moccasins would be really good. I also got some little sandals for him. These were only $6 and another pair of snow boots and these were $10, I think. And then I grabbed a little hat for Sophia for this next winter because she grew out of the one that she's been wearing for this last winter. And I got one for Demi because the one she was wearing will fit him, but it's a girl's hat. So I just got him one that's a little bit more neutral. And the other thing I got was this wrap. This is a Moby wrap. Right now I have a boba wrap and a cuddle bug wrap. And Moby and Solly Baby are the two main brands. They're a bit more popular than the boba wrap. So I was excited to try the Moby wrap. It's definitely heavier than the boba. It's not as stretchy. I actually think I still like the boba better even though it's way less expensive. But now that I've gotten the hang of how loose I have to tie it, it's getting better. I'm enjoying it a lot more now. It's nice to have a backup for a wrap because I have him in this wrap for almost all of his naps. So if the boba is dirty or I can't find it, which has happened several times, then it's nice to have a couple backups. One's in the car in case I get to, I forget to bring my main wrap and then I can have this one in the house in case I lose it or it's being washed. But it has a really cool dandelion print in the front here on this panel that goes over his back. And the rest of it's white, which I'm a little worried about how I'm gonna keep it clean, but normally these are like $60 or more, I think. And this one was $20 and it's in really good condition, so I was excited to find this. Okay, now let's jump right into the boys' clothes. So first up are some pajamas. These are huge, I cannot believe he's gonna be this big. We were holding these up, putting the feet on the floor and holding them up and we're like, he is going to be that tall someday. That's crazy. We've got a little, some little sweatpants for a dollar. Just some comfy around the house sweatpants. This cute little cat and jack shirt. It's got blue stripes and it says adventure on the back. Some more pajamas. I realized that with Sophia I went a little overboard on the fleecy pajamas for one size. I think I got like, I think she has like 10 pairs of fleecy pajamas for like size 12 to 24 months. And that's way too many, so I got him three pairs of fleecy pajamas and one lightweight pair, and that should be plenty. I got some little plaid shirts, which I absolutely love. I love both genders in a plaid shirt, so I'll probably actually have Sophia wear these before he does, because I just think they're adorable as little overshirts on top of other things. I love wearing these for myself, so I was really excited they had a bunch of these, because they didn't in the last sale, and I was definitely keeping my eye out for them. This was only three dollars so it's really in good condition this is a really thick one it's got like fleece on the inside and this was only three dollars also a little tan striped shirt the knit shirt so this will be a, a nice thing for church or something a little bit more dressy than just every day here's another plaid shirt which you guys know i love mustard yellow so i was excited to find something with a little bit of mustard yellow Here's the lightweight pajamas that I got for Demi. And I'll actually probably have Sophia wear these because these are her size right now. And I don't have any lightweight pajamas for her. So whenever it's too hot for fleece, she just has to wear like a t-shirt and 
or diaper. So it'd be nice to have some actual pajamas for them. Here's a cute little Cat and Jack sweater. And oh, I love this shirt. This is brand new. It still had the tags on, but I just love the style and it's a really nice neutral color and that's gonna look really cute on you. And then we have some cute little shorts and they have this little pocket right here on the front. These look really comfortable. Here's the last pair of fleecy pajamas. I got like a waffle knit long sleeve gray shirt. As you can see, I really like neutral colors, not anything like with a ton of graphic stuff on it, just like really plain basic stuff or plaid. That is really my style. Here's a little sweatshirt for him. Here is a church shirt, little plaid dress shirt, short sleeves. These are actually gonna look really cute with this next pair of pants that I got, these little khaki pants. With the shirt and the khaki pants, that's gonna be so cute. And I also can't believe he's gonna be that big for me. Here's a plain little red shirt for him, long sleeves, some little gray cargo shorts, a blue and white striped sweater I love knit sweaters on little kids. They're very cute. Here is an orange and brown striped long sleeve shirt and a gray and teal long sleeve shirt. This is a bit lighter of weight and these looks like more of three quarter inch sleeves than long sleeves. Some green sweatpants with the stripes on the sides. Some little denim shorts. Uh, one more pair of denim shorts. These feel like a bit more of a flexible material so they'll probably be a bit more comfortable. A little tan tank top. This is gonna be the most adorable thing in the summer with some of those shorts. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Denim jeans. Those are pretty long. Holy, this is like really shocking me that he's gonna be this big. Like, I know I keep saying that, but as I'm going through these clothes, I'm like realizing how big he's gonna get. I got some little brown corduroy pants and a little red and black vest. This feels really, really thick and warm. Okay, so those were all the boys' clothes, and let's move on to the girls' clothes now. So first up is this cute little dress, and she's actually worn already, which is why it's got food on the front of it here. I haven't washed it yet. But I love the little corners of the bottom of this dress. It's got like four corners that are extra long, and it just hangs on her so cute. I absolutely love this. I'm not a huge fan of pink, but just how this fits her is the worth the pinkness. <laughs> I got some little denim shorts. She's actually really been needing some denim shorts. It's been super hot lately. Today it's raining, which is really nice to have a bit of a break from the heat. But before this, it was like 90 degrees. And I, I, I personally don't like the heat. But she's been really needing some shorts for when he comes back. So I was excited to find a bunch of shorts there. I got her some fleece pajamas for the next size up. I found a nice winter coat for this next winter. This feels really nice and warm. She is grown out of that super cute plaid winter coat that she wore last year, which I'm really sad about, but he'll be able to wear it most likely, so she did need another winter coat. I got this cute little gray sweater with the little roses on the side, some little striped sweatpants that have the bit of a frayed bottom. I got her some lightweight pajamas with feet. It's hard to find these. Normally they're fleece when they have the feet, but these are some really nice lightweight ones that she's really gonna like. Some little boot cut denim jeans, a denim jacket. This is so cute. This is the Gap denim blue jean jacket. It looks really nice and tough. And I'm thinking that Demi can wear this too because this, this isn't necessarily just for girls. So that's going to look cute on both of them. I got a little flower dress and it has an open back. Some little teal and green hard pajama bottoms. A little plaid dress. A little gray striped shirt with a ruffly bottom. A floral shirt and it's got some of these big decorative buttons on the front which I like. This actually looks really similar to a shirt that I had when I was little, which is partly why I liked it so much. A little polka dot shirt, and it has little little bows on the shoulder, a little brown cardigan, a little green t-shirt with some ruffly sleeves. Here's a cute little shirt with some ruffly shoulders. This is just adorable. And another dress. They had the cutest dresses there. I had a hard time not buying more, but I really, really love Sophia and dresses. Like, she she really does dress as well. Here's a little blue striped dress, and here's a dress with uh, yellow and pink and blue and gray stripes. Here's some long blue jeans. Here were a couple little jean skirts. This was only three dollars for the two pairs. Here are some Carhartt jeans. Another little orange dress. Some more jeans. And another pair. I know it seems like I got her a lot of jeans, but all these are different sizes, ranging from 2T to 4T, so I didn't actually get that many in each size. And here's actually a set of two of those stretchy jeans that I really like. They are super comfortable. And I know there's some more dresses around here somewhere that I got for her. I actually think they're downstairs because we've been having her wear them already, so I'm gonna grab those real quick. 
Okay, I found them. So first we have this little floral shirt and this is so cute. It has little buttons down the front. Next we have this little dress that has a tie at the waist and this is just such a flattering fit. I really like these kind of dresses. And then the last one is this cute little blue striped dress with this tie in the middle here. This is probably my favorite one. It's a bit big for her. I did try it on just to see. It is a four to five size. So yeah, I can see why it's a little big on her now. I cannot wait until she's big enough to wear this. And that is the entire haul that I got at the consignment sale this last week. It's a huge pile of stuff, you guys. Like it would probably be like a thousand dollars if I bought all this stuff new. I did pay about, I think, 250 to 300 dollars for all of it, including the wrap and all the shoes and all the stuff. But it's gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna have to go back to another one of these sales for like two or three years because I have all their clothes up until then. Which is just really nice to know that I have all the clothes for them and I'll, I like all of them. I'm not gonna have to go and buy something that I don't really like because I'm like in desperate need of something. I also don't have to worry about missing the sale next year. <laughs> I tend to forget when they're coming up and I usually almost miss them. So, but I hope you guys enjoyed this whole video and, and that you're having a great day. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.